That's the, oh, that's you, you what they gave us. Speculating. Oh, are, are the XCOM and Bioshock universes linked? Yeah, there's really like people writing erotic fanfiction of Big Daddies and William Carter. Um. And Shadow Warrior, you've got the friggin' serious Sam Sledge and the damn... Yeah, that's Devolver game. Digital is way cooler than that. Yeah, that's 35, I'm gonna die. Dog is amazing. Yeah, I got the... Uh, was that? What, I don't think it was Keyframe, but someone else had made it. Bantham? Remember Bantham from uh, Bad Company? Uh, I never played uh, Bad Company with uh, Goons on PC. Oh, it's a shame. Why did you? Yeah, you, you made Bad Company too. Because one was yes. on PC. I had a shitty PC with Xbox. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep Goons on 360. Oh, that was weird. As far as I'm concerned, there are no goons on consoles. Yeah, it's like... I thought I picked up a USAS-12, but I didn't. Yeah. You could've, yeah. But when I switch, eh, it's just lag. Like, yeah, when you switch weapons, it apparently goes away forever. Yeah, uh, oh, when you switch weapons, it drops. Yeah. Run out of ammo, it's done. Breakfast round. He who holds the roof holds victory. Yeah, be true. Grenades work way better when they come from the top. I work yeah, out. Hey Hopkin, how you doing? Hey. You wanna fight over the roof? I'm not fighting. This is my roof. Objective this is my rival, this is my gun, this is for fighting. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. all the idiots on the roof are dead. Yeah, you got all of us. Poor guy, he actually stopped working. Uh, so who's the guy in here who develops the on Objective Charlie, on the beer? I it's me. What's your name? Silent W. I oh, yeah, Silent W. I was just gonna say, uh, I don't know, the reviews I heard out of that game are uh, lukewarm. Well, Jim no Sterling. No one said it was great. No one said it was great. Here's the thing, though. Jim Sterling deliberately broke the embargo on the reviews 12 hours early to give us a 35 out of 100 review. Then immediately retracted it because he oh didn't realize it broke the embargo, but still left it up just long enough for Google to crawl it and make it the top result for the game on Google. Uh, so every one single that other Arthur review Geist falls in line. About? What? Arthur Geist. I work out plenty about somebody breaking the embargo. Line. Well, here's the problem. 2K suits can't really complain about people breaking review embargoes because otherwise it would cause a giant shitstorm that would end people going, oh, and so how did Grand Theft Auto 4 get all those 90s and 100s? By paying off every main review site, you say. Why, yes, it's for GTA 5. So That's you're kind of mad that 2K pays for GTA reviews but not about uh, yes. XCOM reviews. Exactly. You have a point. Well, I mean, G look, GTA is a machine that flips on a special set of printing presses in the base of Take-Two Interactive's headquarters in New York that print fucking money every time one of them comes out. Of course they're going to have everyone they can to get perfect reviews for the game. Well, Bureau, they've been they trying really to kill that game to. for six years, they couldn't get it. So they're not pay for reviews for that game. It's return, it's, you know, it's a possible return. The Bureau did not have a very high possible return, and they wanted to save their... Juice for Grand Theft Auto 5. Ah, uh, it's marketing dollars. Yep. That's why they give us the B team of retards for marketing too. I'm not gonna be your point that the gaming media is not really media Terrible, as much horrible, as they are just uh, abysmal. It's enthusiast media, that's the proper term. <laughs> Which yeah, is most of the way, probably it's just a nice way to say A lot of, there are, not every review score, but definitely a lot of review scores are the products of the games. Okay, uh, in your personal opinion, is Giant Bomb those that spot off? Um, I don't know. I think it varies on a case-by-case -case basis. But generally, here's the easy way to tell. 
Look at a game that's highly, highly anticipated and has ridiculous amounts of marketing dollars and look at the outlet that gives the most divergent score for what appears to be good reasons. And also look at the text of all the reviews. You'll notice for GTA 5, the text of all the reviews pretty much matches for most major review sites. Not as in like plagiarism, as in like the feel of the text and the feel of the review that they give the game matches pretty much universally. But the numbers they give the game dramatically differ. So usually what it is these days is write whatever you want, but the end numerical score has to be X, Y, or Z. Mm -hmm. I hate you, RK. <laughs> That's the easiest way. That's the easiest way to tell. For example, for GTA V, the escapists did not get the money this time. You can tell because they rated it like a 5 or a 6 I still instead hate of a 9. Okay. Oh, I love you. So, yeah. Anyway, people probably want to be a 4 and not listen to this thing. It's okay. Yeah, we're it's good to we're playing um, Dom, so... We're playing Domination, there's no thought involved in this. Yeah. This is true. We're basically just grinding, testing out guns. Yeah. And also killing each other over rooftops that don't matter. I probably shouldn't be telling people this, but... C4! I don't care. <laughs> hey, look, oh, we're not gonna report you to your corporate masters. Yeah. Besides, hey, they can't really fire me. Can they can't really fire now. me yet, right now. Who the other one? You can go up the elevator now. <laughs> yeah, I helped the guy. Oh god. God damn it, god damn it. Why Besides, is the MX4 like corruption so in good. the video game press is something... <laughs> it's not it's a revelation, yeah. The MX4 is you going map like this. The MX4 is fucking ridiculous, man. Personally, in Conquest, I do not like it at all. Really? I just had it. It's like a fucking laser IV. It just tears through dudes. Like I said, on a small map like this, it's perfectly serviceable. Just on a bigger map, the Conquest version of this map, I do not enjoy it. You know, Conquest, I found that I just point it in some general direction and they kind of just disappear. Which one's the MX? The engine default. Got it. The U100, the uh, support default gun, I feel is really yeah, that's to much. That thing's pretty god awful. Which is weird because the Ultimax 100 is supposed to be a pretty good gun, I heard. Yeah. Yeah, Realism. Yeah. Really awesome. to, uh... yeah. Then again, the only people who Get are saying that about it are OKA soldiers, so yeah. Ooh, there's one. Oh, Get that's nice. Right. They changed the grenade launcher model depending on which gun you have it mounted on again. That's very nice. I appreciate that. Oops. Well, it's not the FMP project grenade launcher. Say goodbye to the roof! I love how you're all matching uh, your arms. Oh yeah, that's the emblem bug, right? That emblem bug is, that emblem bug is pretty cool, actually. I, I like, like the yellow arms and the purple arms. Colored arms fun. Yeah. I wish I had the emblem bug. Well, just, it, is it, is it a, uh, like, you have it or you don't, or is it, like, specific? It depends on the emblem. You gotta use yeah. the frog out emblem to get the light green emblem bug, I think. I'm sure something oh, else so can that's tell what that That's stupid is. ducking bullshit that models in this game do when you're shot, they're really kidding me. Oh, they, like, do the little, the, like, suppressed animation and it fucks yeah. up their hitbox? Yeah, oh, shit, who the fuck put a tank in here? Oh, god. Wait, what, what? I'm on the server, uh, I'm on the server, I'm with the, I'm with oh. the FK. Every tank is floating around me. Someone brought a tank to a fucking DOM map, what the hell? How do you get a tank in a DOM map? What I don't oh. know! Elevator? Nice. So tank basically cheats. <laughs> Elevators! Yeah. <laughs> next level sheets. I gotta admit, that, that, that does sound hilarious. You remember that classic Counter-Strike video where people were spawning Apaches and Half-Life Metamod? helicopters, yeah, the Metamod thing? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, something like that. Yeah, it was meta mod. Let you change your player model. Actually, besides the Apaches, I think my favorite was when they all turned into forklifts and ran everyone over. Great folks, <laughs> to the eruption of Mount Gibbon. Oh, I'm playing Conquest. No wonder. Oh, okay. That explains the tank. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Finally, they're so stupid. The they're acting the same. I I miss the forklifts. I know. We FYI, have a skid dick pics in your emblem skid will get loader. you banned. Dick pics and emblem. Okay. Well, Good to know. I'll keep out the dick pics. Anthony Weiner is extremely unhappy. He's gonna get banned from Battlefield just like he got banned from New York. Ho ho Poor ho. Guy. Yes. That's why you don't Poor set him. your emblem to a dick pic. Yep. I wonder how many Russians will get mad.
There was all. There's already a rage in Russian on the uh, battle log forums about swastikas being banned, about swastikas <laughs> being banned and communist emblems not being or something. Wait, and the Russian is mad about that? Yeah, there's a real yeah. Nazi problem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there are Russian Nazis, believe it or not. Oh yeah, but I mean. No, yeah, it, it seems Euro odd that he would be mad about that, but yeah. It's really weird since uh, Hitler wanted to murder all of them. Oh, you know, details. He considered them details. subhuman. Details, yeah. man, details. You think that helps all the, the hunchbacks, the autists, and the cripples who joined the National Socialist Party of the United States?